Hello everyone, you made it to day 21 of my 30-day beginner yoga series. We have another energizing flow today. So when you're ready, find yourself standing at the front of your mat. Bring attention to posture, root down through your feet. And begin to tune in to your body and your breath here. On your next inhale, reach both hands high up towards the ceiling and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands, step back for downward facing dog. Walk it out a little, left and right, bend into one knee, then the other. And step your feet back to your forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. And inhale, reach the hands all the way up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Back to down dog. Lift the heels and step forward. Half lift, fold. Standing, fold. Half lift, fold. Down dog. Lift the heels, walk forward to fold. Half lift, fold. Reach up, fold. Half lift, fold. Downward facing dog. Lift the heels, step forward, half lift. Fold, standing, fold, half lift, fold, down dog, lift the heels, and step forward, half lift, fold, standing, fold, Half lift, fold, downward facing dog. Hold here. Keep your right foot planted and lift your left foot up towards the ceiling. Pull your left knee in towards your chest and step your foot all the way up in between the hands. If you need to readjust your foot after you step it forward, go ahead and do so. We'll find our way all the way up to warrior one. That back heel spins all the way down to the floor. Back foot at a 45 degree angle, hold here. Release both hands to the floor, step back downward facing dog. Lift your right foot up towards the ceiling. And pull your right foot all the way up in between both hands. Rise high for warrior one. 
both hips squaring off towards the front of the room as much as possible. Release both hands to the floor. Step back to down dog and walk your feet all the way up towards your hands. Find forward fold. Half lift. Fold. Standing. Fold. Half lift. Fold. Down dog. Lift your left leg. Left foot steps up all the way between the hands. Warrior one. Both hands come down. Step back. Right foot comes high. Knee to chest and step your right foot up between the hands for warrior one. Hands come down. Step back to down dog. Forward fold. Half lift. Fold. Standing. Fold, half lift, fold, down dog, hold, left leg, knee to chest, warrior one. Both hands come down. Down dog, right leg lifts, knee to chest, and warrior one. Release. Back to down dog and we'll connect this floor more so to breath. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, standing. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step back. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, hold. Inhale, exhale, hands down. Step back to down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, hold. Inhale, exhale, hands come down. And hold in your down dog. We'll continue to build some heat in our bodies by taking some little hops from down dog. So feel free to watch the screen first. See if you can jump even a couple inches off your mat. Lift and lift in a half. As you jump up, stay strong through your shoulders. We're building a body awareness and control here as well as strength through the shoulders and our arms. And take as many as you can here. Little hops, little hops. See if you can make them a little bigger. To take it a step further, you can hop your feet all the way up towards your hands, even if they just come halfway up. Then walk your feet the rest of your way to your forward fold. Hop. Step back, hop, step back, hop, step back, hop, 
and hold here. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Putting all the flow together, half lift, fold. Step back, down dog. Inhale, the left leg high. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, fold. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior one. And fold. Step back to down dog. Hop your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up. And fold. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Left leg. Warrior one. Hands come down. Down dog. Right leg. Warrior one. Hands come down. Down dog. Take a hop, feet up to the hands. Fold here. Half lift, reach all the way up. And forward fold. Go ahead and take your feet a little wide of your mat here. We'll start to stretch it out now that we're nice and warm. So feet wide. Hands can come to opposite elbows or rest down on the mat. Slow your breathing here. Feel your hips opening and stretching through your hamstrings. We'll make this move a little more dynamic by bending into one side and the other. So bending your right knee, then your left. Right and left. Right and left. Right and left. Hold center. Toe heel your feet in so your toes are pointed slightly out and sink low for malasana or yogi squat. We have an option here for three attempts at crow pose. Hands come forward. Feel the weight of your body against the backs of your arms. As you lean forward, first attempt at crow. Release back to Malasana, yogi squat. Second attempt, if all you do today is lean forward, engage your core, even if your toes don't come off the mat, it's a success. Just keep trying here. And release back to Malasana. Got one more shot, set yourself up. And find your crow, whatever that means to you today. Release back. 
and go ahead and drop your knees all the way towards the mat come to all fours and stretch your hands out forward for a shoulder and back opener here as you come through all fours now the right knee slides forward set up for pigeon pose you're going to sink deeply into your stretch and find your edge here. Press through your hands, return to all fours, and switch sides, left knee comes forward, sink into your pigeon. Return to all fours, shoulders aligned over the wrists, hips over the knees. Begin to take some small circles in the hips. And sink low, knees wide, big toes to touch for a child's pose. And bring your right ear down, turn your head towards the left. And switch sides. As you return your forehead to center, option to take the hip opener a little more deeply into a frog pose, knees in line with the hips. Continue to breathe here, give yourself time. If you're in frog pose, press into your forearms, return to child's. Continue to breathe deeply here. Thank you all for joining me in this flow and tuning in to day 21 of this 30-day beginner series. 
Tomorrow brings another energizing flow with stretches at the end, similar to this one. So if you enjoyed this, make sure to tune in for day 22. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments how this flow made you feel. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Namaste.